Well, since 2025 seems to be the end of days for this century, I'm going to do something a little bit different, as well as get myself back in the swing of making educational content for everybody. Instead of bringing you news about our not-so-quick descent into complete and total chaos, I'm going to bring you news about herpetiles. And so for anybody who doesn't know what a herpetile is, that is the term that is referred to not only reptiles and amphibians, but also invertebrates. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Recently, scientists have reclassified a species of spider that was first discovered back in the early 2000s as a new subspecies of the Sydney funnel web. And so for people who don't even really know what a, spider, a whole lot about spiders, that one probably rings a bell. The Sydney funnel web spider is one of the largest and most venomous species of spiders found not only in Australia, because it's Australia, but the entire world. Now, the Sydney funnel web spider is, or the Latin term is Atrox robustus, is commonly referred to as the Sydney funnel web because that's where they are encountered a lot of them. But now, with this new discovery or new reclassification of three separate subspecies, it kind of fans out a bit. This new one, Atrox cristenseni, is found in and around the area of Newcastle, so a little bit of a distance from Sydney for all of my non-Australian viewers out there. Now, this one is so much larger than the normally found Sydney funnel web. Normally, Sydney funnel webs are around five-ish centimeters in length, or oh, for, again, not the non-Australians out there, about two-ish inches. Christensenai is about nine centimeters, or over 3.1 inches in length. They are larger, their venom guns are larger, and their fangs are longer as well. This thing is so big that scientists are now calling it Big boy, in addition to the Newcastle funnel web spider.